हॅलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे आय एम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग लेट सी इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सोल्युशन ऑफ लिनियर सायमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन युजिंग गॉस एलिमिनेशन मेथड सो फर्स्ट वी हॅव टू डिस्कस इट्स थिअरी ऑर अ डेरिवेशन इन अ एक्झामिनेशन इट माईट बी आस्क लाईक धीस एक्सप्लेन द मेथड ऑफ गॉस एलिमिनेशन यूज टू सॉल्व लिनियर सायमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन डोंट राईट एनी फॉर्म्युला or don't write any uh, uh, don't write any values don't take any values and explain it we need to take it as a derivation so that's why we will take here only some coefficients in the form of a11 a12 like that so what is gauss elimination method please remember this is very important statement related to gauss elimination method if the question is asked in the oral examination then you have to give this answer only the in case of gauss elimination method the given set of linear equation is converted to upper triangular matrix by elimination of variable what do you mean by upper triangular matrix it is nothing but all diagonal elements are 1 and these elements will be 0 here i am writing cross cross is nothing but it may be 0 or non zero there is no any issue but if you see this kind of structure where all the diagonal elements are 1 and below that elements will be zero then this particular situation is called as upper triangular matrix so the aim is we have to make such kind of uh, strategy where diagonals will be one and these elements will be zero so let us consider we have three simultaneous equations with three unknowns a11x1 plus a12x2 plus a13x3 equal to b1 a21x1 plus a22x2 plus a23x3 equal to b2 a31x1 plus a32x2 plus a33x3 equal to b3 now what we will do we will represent this equation in the matrix format so we will get the coefficient as a coefficient of x1 as a11 from equation 1 coefficient of x2 as a12 coefficient of x3 as a13 and this will be your x1 x2 x3 means if you multiply it you will get the same equation a11 into x1 plus a12 into x2 plus a13 into x3 will be equal to b1 where likewise you have to write it as a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 this is the constant or you can say constant matrix so whatever this matrix we have which is denoted by a it is called as coefficient matrix x is nothing but your unknown variable matrix indicated by x1 x2 x3 and b is nothing but a constant matrix so in a augmented format what we will do just we have we have written it like this a11 a12 a13 we have to put one line and here we will get b1 that is a constant value similarly a21 a22 a23 here b2 a31 a32 a33 here you will be get b3 now what is our aim aim is to make these diagonal elements 1 it should be 0 and it should be non zero so first what we have to do we have to make the first element from row 1 as a 1 so how it is possible here if you see here we have a11 so here we have to make change in the r1 and we will be taking help of r1 only so that's why if we divide this number by this number only then we will get here answer as a 1 now remaining terms a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 b2 b3 i will write it as it is here what we are doing now we are dividing this row 1 to whole row 1 by a11 so we will get what a12 upon a11 if you see for this element it will be a13 upon a11 if you see for this first constant element it will be b1 upon a11 so for a simplicity let me take this as a a12 dash a13 dash and b1 dash so it will be easy for me to write so this will be your matrix this is the first step what we have to do we have to make this first element as a 1 now in a second step what we have to do please listen it carefully once we make this equate uh, with this particular uh, we can say element as a 1 we have to make these two elements zero by taking help of this element so how i am going to write these two equations please listen it carefully now this will be your r1 
this will be your R2, this will be your R3. So I need to make changes here. I need to make changes to this particular point. So I will write it as to where I have to make a change R2. So I will write it as R2 equal to R2. We have to take help of first element. So I will write it here as a R1. Now what is element here? R2. What is the element? Plus A21. So I will write it here as minus A21. I will repeat it again. As I want to make this element 0. So that's why I, I have written here R2 equal to R2. I have to take help of first element from R1. So I have written here R1. What is this element? Plus A21. So that's why here I am taking it as minus A21. Similarly, for making this, this will be your row R3. So I have to make this element 0. So how I will write it as? As I want to make this element 0, I will write it as R3 equal to R3. And I have to take help of R1. So I will write it here as a R1. Now what is this element? <coughs> this will be plus A31. So I will take it as minus A31. So we will get these equations. So this is 1 as it is. We are doing it just to make these two elements 0. So we have applied this. Similarly, we have to apply this formula of R2 in each column. Okay. Uh, and similarly, we have to apply this R3 in each column. So suppose we will get after applying this, we will get this as A22 dash, A23 dash, B2 dash. This will be A32 dash, A33 dash, B3 dash. Now what is the next aim? Next aim is as far as our definition of Gauss elimination method, we have to make this as a 100. Next is we need to keep this or we need to make this second element as a 1. So how it is possible? Just if you see, this will be your row R2. So we need to do a changes in R2. We have to take a help of R2 only. What is this element? A dash A2. A dash 2 2. So I will write it here A dash 2 2 only. If I divide the same number by the same number, I will get here value as a 1. So therefore, here you will get 1. Now, we have to write, we have to write R1 elements and R3 elements as it is because we are not going to do any change here. So we have written it same 1, A12 dash, A13 dash, B1 dash or 0, A32 dash, A33 dash, B3 dash likewise. But as we are doing changes here in the R2, so instead of A22 dash for a simplicity, uh, now here we will be making it as a 1, so it will be 1, no doubt. Uh, for simplicity, instead of writing A dash 2, 3, here we will write it as A double dash of 2, 3. And this will be B double dash, B double dash of 2. Now next thing what we have to do? We have to make this element as a 0. And we have to take help of this. This will be your R3. So in which element we have to do changes R3 equal to R3. Whose help we need to take? R2. What is the element here? Plus A dash 3 2. So here I will write it as minus A dash 3 2. So we will get this equation. So apply it. We will get this matrix. Now what is the end step? We have to make this element as a 1. Because we have to make a uh, upper triangular matrix like this. No need to change here at this position. It may be 0, may not be 0. If it is 0 by calculation or by anything, it is okay. But if it is not, then cross indicates it may be 0 value or non-zero value. Next thing, we have to make this element as a 1. So how it is possible? This will be your R3. So we will be taking help of R3 only divided by A double dash of 3, 3. So we will get this equation. Now what you have to do, you have to uh, do a back substitution. If you see, this is the column of x1, this is the column of x2, this is the column of x3. So from this, how I can write 0x1 plus 0x2 plus x3 will be equal to b3 triple dash. Means from this I will get answer as x3 will be equal to b3 triple dash. So this is your answer. Next is equal to what? Now you go for this. This. 
सो वॉट यू विल गेट जीरो एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू प्लस प्लस ए टू थ्री डबल डैश एक्स थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू बी टू डबल डैश और नाउ यू नो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स थ्री विच इज बी थ्री डबल डैश इट इज अ कॉन्स्टंट सो यू कैन पुट इट हियर सो फ्रॉम दैट यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड इट आउट वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू विच विल बी इक्वल टू वॉट बी टू डबल डैश माइनस ए टू थ्री डबल डैश इन टू बी थ्री ट्रिपल डैश बिकॉज एक्स थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू बी थ्री ट्रिपल डैश एंड सिमिलरली फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट रो यू विल बी एबल टू राइट द इक्वेशन एज एक्स वन प्लस इफ यू सी ए वन टू डैश इन टू एक्स टू सो लेट मी राइट ए वन टू डैश इन टू एक्स टू प्लस ए वन थ्री डैश इन टू एक्स थ्री ए वन थ्री डैश इन टू एक्स थ्री which will be equal to constant that is b3 triple dash so if you substitute whatever answer you will get here of x3 here and whatever answer of x2 you got here in the previous one this is what is the x2 so if you substitute it you will be able to find it out value of x1 so in this way by doing your uh, back substitution you will be able to find it out value of x1 x2 and x3 so this is what is a process or a derivation of gauss elimination method please remember we need to convert linear equations into upper triangular matrix so this is what is the portion of a upper triangular matrix thank you for watching this video